Hello, and welcome to the 3M Lab. In this video, you will learn how to collect a sample from a duodenoscope or any endoscope with an elevator mechanism to measure cleaning efficacy using the 3M Clean Trace ATP monitoring system. Endoscopes should be sampled after manual cleaning. On an endoscope, we recommend you test at least two test points, the outer distal end and the suction biopsy channel. We also recommend testing the elevator mechanism and elevator guide wire channel if present. Before you begin, make sure the endoscope is thoroughly rinsed. When you are ready to collect your sample, Start with the surface test of the outer distal end of the endoscope. Remove the surface test UXC from the device sleeve, taking care to touch only the blue handle. Do not let the swab touch any surface except that which is to be sampled. Hold the test between thumb and forefinger so you can easily rotate the swab. Touch the swab to the outer distal end and apply enough downward pressure to cause the wand to flex. Move your swab back and forth to test all sides of the distal end for a length of about 10 centimeters or up to the first hash mark. During sample collection, rotate the swab to ensure sufficient contact between the swab and the surface being sampled. Once you've collected the sample, insert the test back into the device sleeve. You can activate and read immediately, or you can wait until the next steps are complete. You have up to four hours to activate and read this test. Next, we will perform a surface test for the elevator mechanism and recessed housing. To begin, turn the control knob so that the elevator mechanism is in the down position. Using a new surface test UXC, swab the exposed parts of the elevator mechanism and the recessed housing, rotating the swab as you collect your sample. Swab all visible surfaces as thoroughly as possible and remember to apply enough pressure to cause the wand to flex. Then, turn the control knob so that the elevator mechanism is now in the full up position. Using the same surface test, swab the exposed parts of the elevator mechanism and the recessed housing. Once you've collected this sample, insert the test back into the device sleeve. You can activate and read immediately or you can wait until the next steps are complete. You have up to four hours to activate and read this test. Next, let's collect a sample from the suction biopsy channel. To prepare the endoscope for sampling, you'll need a connector from the 3M water test kit. Attach the connector to the barbed hose fitting on the light guide end of the universal cord, sometimes referred to as the Christmas tree. For the suction biopsy port on the control head, you will need to make sure the suction biopsy valve is in place. Or, for Olympus brand scopes, you can use a plug from the 3M water test kit to insert into the suction port. With the plug, you will free one of your hands since you will not need to press down on the suction valve, but it is really a matter of preference. For the instrument port on Olympus brand endoscopes, you can use a second plug. For other endoscope brands, Make sure the instrument port is covered with the instrument port cover. Note that the connectors and plugs are for single use only, so be sure to discard them when you have completed your test. Next, fill a sterile 60cc syringe with air, then attach the syringe to the connector. If using the plug, press down on the syringe to push air through the channel. If using the suction valve, press down on the suction valve located on the control head the valve with the red dot, then press down on the syringe. This air flush removes any remaining cleaning agent. Any fluid removed during this flush should not be collected in your sterile sample container. When complete, detach the syringe from the connector. Now we are ready to collect the sample. First, secure the distal end into an empty sterile sample collection container. To avoid contamination, make sure that it doesn't go below the 40 milliliter mark. Next, fill your syringe with 40 cc of sterile water and an additional 20 cc of air. Then, reattach the syringe to the connector. 
if using the plug, slowly press down on the syringe. Otherwise, press down on the suction valve while slowly pressing down on the syringe. The rinse aid will flow through the channel and into the collection container. Detach the syringe from the connector and draw in 60 cc of air. Then, reattach to the connector. If using the plug, press down on the syringe to push air through the endoscope. Otherwise, press down on the suction valve while pressing down on the syringe. This air flush will push any rinseate remaining inside the endoscope into the collection container. We have another sample to collect, so for now, securely cap the sample collection container to maintain sample integrity until we are ready to test it. If your endoscope has a sealed elevator guide wire channel, you can skip the next sampling step in this video and proceed with measuring the ATP levels of the collected water sample and two surface tests. If your endoscope has an open elevator guide wire channel that can be flushed, the last step is to sample the elevator guide wire channel. To prepare the endoscope for sampling, take the elevator guide wire channel cleaning tube which is available from the endoscope manufacturer, and attach it to the elevator guide wire port. The cleaning tube should be no longer than 12 inches. Fill a sterile 10 cc syringe with air and attach to the cleaning tube. Press down on the syringe plunger to push air through the channel and remove any remaining cleaning agent. Any fluid removed during this flush should not be collected in your sterile sample container. Next, detach the syringe and draw in 5 cc of sterile water, followed by an additional 5 cc of air. Reattach the syringe to the cleaning tube. Hold the distal end over the sample collection container and press down on the syringe plunger, expelling the rinseate into the sample collection container. Now it's time to measure the ATP levels of the collected samples, starting with the water samples. Gently remove one clean trace water test H2O from the device sleeve, taking care to not touch the collection rings at the tip. Slowly immerse the tip of the test into the water sample, just up to the collar. If air bubbles are present, gently tap the test handle. Note that the water test must be activated as soon as the sample is collected. Carefully insert the test back into the device sleeve and press the handle down until you feel a click. Grip the top of the test and shake side to side for at least 5 seconds. Note that once you have activated the test, it must be read in the luminometer immediately. Insert the test into the Clean Trace Luminometer LX25 and follow the on screen prompts to take a measurement. In 10 seconds or less, you'll see the result a quantitative RLU value. If the RLU value is above the facility designated threshold, the endoscope should be recleaned and retested according to your facility's policies and procedures. Follow the same click and shake steps to activate the remaining ATP tests and the same steps to measure your results using the luminometer. Alternatively, you can activate and measure each ATP test after collecting each sample instead of waiting to activate and measure all tests at the same time. Your selections on the luminometer screen will vary by test, so follow the on-screen prompts to take each measurement. And always refer to the product manuals or the product's instructions for use. For a system overview and detailed walkthroughs of additional sample collection procedures, visit 3m.com cleantrace.